Hey, Architect Nation, and welcome back to another episode of the Daily Architect CEO Update. Today's topic is papers blowing in the wind. So today, as I was driving home from the gym, I came around the corner, driving into my neighborhood. There's a stoplight right there. And as I was pulling around the corner, I noticed on the side of the road by the gutter, there was a ton of papers that were just strewn. There were some that were in a kind of a pile. And then the rest of the papers had been blown around by the wind and they were just kind of going down the street. And so, of course, as I drove past, I was thinking about this and I thought, you know, this is my neighborhood. This is a place that I have a lot of passion about. This is a place that I want to keep clean. And so I turned around, I got out of the car, and I cleaned up all the papers. And I actually have the papers here in front of me right now. It looks like they'd been out overnight because they were kind of damp. And interestingly, when I look through them, it looks like what they are is some sort of timesheets for, I mean, these are titled weekly management schedule, and then it has people's names on it, and it has check in and check out. And there's just, there's just an entire stack of these papers. So I don't know who dropped them. Obviously, they weren't that important. But what I'd have you consider today is that if I hadn't have picked up those papers, who would have done it? If I hadn't have stopped and cleaned up those papers, who would have done it? Likely, they would have sat there and they would have blown around and they would have made even more of a mess. We do have a street sweeper that comes around once a month. Someone else would have had to pick up those papers or they would just sat there littering the street. And what I'd have you consider is in your business, there are probably some papers blowing around in the wind. Now, not probably. I know there are because I know there's papers blowing around in my business. And who's going to clean those up if not you? How many times do you walk past something? You're not paying attention to the details. You just leave something for someone else to do. Let me give you just one example. So on my team, I have a lady who's supposed to be filling out a, uh, there's a particular spreadsheet that she's supposed to fill out every single day. And this is important, right? It has a reason because at the end of the day, I'm able to go in and I'm able to analyze where we're going with regard to our KPIs and our targets and our goals. But what happens when I go in there and the spreadsheet hasn't been updated? Now, I could just let those papers, those figurative papers just blow in the wind. I could just drive right on past and not bring it up right? Because I'm sure she was busy. I'm sure she may have forgot. I'm sure she'll eventually get around to it. But as a leader, it's my responsibility to set the culture in the business. And the culture is we don't leave things for later. We do things immediately because things matter. And so this is the parable of papers blowing in the wind. Just as in my neighborhood, these papers would have continued to litter the yard and people's, people's street if I didn't go and clean them up. In my business, likewise, there are things and in my life There are areas in which there are papers blowing around. And as a leader and as a business owner and as an entrepreneur, it rests on me to actually go and clean up those papers. I need to set the leadership because if I don't do it, no one else will. So what I'd have you consider today is where in your business are there papers blowing around in the wind? Where in your business do you see those papers? You realize you're there, but you don't give them much attention. You drive right on past with your day because you're so busy and you're focused on other things. And as a result, the culture of your entire firm goes down. Now, love him or hate him, I'm gonna give example here of Rudy Giuliani, who was the mayor of New York City. Some people hate him, some people love him, but one thing that I did see, having gone to school in upstate New York during the time period when he was mayor, uh, is that New York City over that time period was cleaned up. So what Rudy did, he took this approach of being, uh, of really focusing on the smiley, small little infractions like littering and jaywalking, and then that had a ripple effect that really cleaned up Manhattan. Now, you may not say Manhattan's not the cleanest city in the world, I'll admit that, but it is far better than what it used to be. Times Square used to be a place where there were you know, adult shops everywhere, people selling drugs on the corner, trash all over the place, and just because of the mayor of New York City and the, the, the people who were working in New York City took, took the responsibility to actually take care of those papers blowing in the wind. And that ripple effect allowed it to become what it is today. So again, my question for you today is, where in your business are there papers blowing in the wind? Where do you need to go to collect up that papers, set the president, and take leadership in your business? Now, if you'd like to build your dream practice that has the exceptional culture that you want, that gives you consistency, both in terms of time, what you're working on, and in profit, money, and the kind of challenging projects that you'd like to work on, I invite you to go check out the Dream Practice Accelerator. Now, after working with 
hundreds of architecture firms over the past six years, I developed a very straight line to be able to get your firm in working order and be able to scale it and take it to where you want to get it to. If you'd like to find out more, it's by application only. You can go over to businessofarchitecture.com forward slash reviews. You can also register for a free training about how to create your dream practice by going to dreampracticewebinar.com. In that free training, you'll discover how to create your perfect job, your perfect clients, and your perfect firm. Once again, this is Enoch Sears with your daily Architect CEO update. As always, Carpe Diem. Seize today. And I'll see you soon.